They just took away my happy moment for what? For one lousy actress for not wanting to shoot with a black man? Leonard Roberts, who played D.L. Hawkins in the show's first season. This is not just going to go away. It will when I get that woman's name. Shares his experience on the superhero drama in a Variety magazine op-ed. He begins by stating that in the first draft of the pilot, his character was literally described as, quote, a white man's nightmare. It wasn't enough for me because that business doesn't fly when you have a family. He goes on to detail how he also experienced immediate friction with his co-star Ali Larder and how an intimate scene between them was shot much differently than with her white co-stars, which Robert says, quote, I couldn't help wondering whether race was a factor. Robert says that he was motivated to come forward with his story by this year's reignited Black Lives Matter movement. As for Larder, she tells E.T. in a statement, I am deeply saddened to hear about Leonard Roberts' experience on Heroes, and I'm heartbroken reading his perception of our relationship, which absolutely doesn't match my memory nor experience on the show. I am truly sorry for any role I may have played in his painful experience during that time, and I wish him and his family the very best. Roberts left the show after its first season, saying that he was fired by show creator and showrunner Tim Kring, saying... In a short voicemail message, he said that due to the Ali Larder situation, when the show returned for season two, audiences would learn that DL had died. Kring responded to the open letter in a statement to ET that reads in part, Given the very different lens that I view the world through today, I acknowledge that a lack of diversity at the upper levels of the staff may have contributed to Leonard experiencing the lack of sensitivity that he describes. Hello fam, welcome. I am Wangel Zalalem bringing you this juicy story. How many of you watched Heroes? I'll wait. I mean, if you're, I would say younger than 18, you probably didn't watch it. But if you're above 18 and you were into superpower, superhero movies and series, there's a big chance that you watched it. I was obsessed, obsessed with that series and I loved it. And funny enough, the story today is about that series but also in a way I have my answer today that I didn't understand why it happened 10 years ago I cried when they killed off this character real tears because they killed my favorite character basically now I find out uh, because of Variety he wrote on Variety they gave him the platform when he was fired um, he basically said he was fired because his co-star had a problem with him and I'm like I lost my favorite character because this lady, this Ali, we'll talk about her, had an issue with this guy. You have no idea how upset I am. I genuinely am because they just took away my happy moment for what? For one lousy actress for not wanting to shoot with a black man? First, let me tell you, this has racist undertone. It's just, okay, let me read for you the article what he went through for you to understand and you be the judge if this was a racist act or not. So the actor that was playing D.L. Hawkins in the Hero series wrote on Variety what his experience was as a black man on set. He wrote, in 2006, I was fortunate enough to land a role on the NBC television series Heroes. I played D.L. Hawkins, who in an early draft of the pilot was literally described as, quote, a white man's nightmare. A prison inmate, DL, discovers he has the ability to pass through solid matter. Through the entire audition process, I found a connection to the character that didn't traffic in stereotypes. And when I got the job, it was my first series regular role on network television. After the show was picked up to series, I learned my character had been removed from the pilot. As production began, I looked forward to sharing my thoughts on my character with the writing staff as I heard other cast members had done the same with theirs. Unfortunately, no such meeting ever materialized. Then I realized that despite the show's three black series regulars, there were no black writers on staff. I sat on the sidelines for the second, third, fourth, and fifth episode. Finally, I was excited to learn that episode six would mark my debut. Episode 6 began filming in August 2006. Dale Hawkins was in an interracial marriage with Nikki Sanders, a white woman played by Ali Larter. The script suggested DL and Nikki had a volatile relationship, and it wasn't long before art was imitating life. With me on the receiving end of pushback from my co-star regarding the playing of a particularly tense scene, 
Coming from theater, I was familiar with passion running high in the process of bringing characters to life. So I later gave her a bottle of wine with a note affirming that I believe to be mutual respect and a shared commitment to doing exceptional work. Neither the gift nor the note was ever acknowledged. On another occasion during the staging of a bedroom scene, my co-star took umbrage with the level of intimacy being suggested between our characters. In a private rehearsal, Greg Behman, our director, asked if she was willing to lower the straps of the top she was wearing and expose her bare shoulders, only above the sheet that covered her in order to give the visual impression she was in the same state of undress as me, as I was shirtless. My co-star refused Behman's request, and I was instantly aware of the tension on the set. I remember instinctively checking to make sure both my hands were visible to everyone who was there, as not to have my intention or actions misconstrued. Despite Behman's clear description of why he was looking for visually, my co-star insisted she was indeed being asked to remove her top completely, and rehearsal was cut. She then demanded a meeting with Behman and the producers who were on set and proceeded to take an intense and loud conversation in which she expressed she had never been so disrespected as an actress, a woman, or a human being. While that was my first episode, my co-star had been working on Heroes for over a month, and she'd shot another scene that called for Nikki to seduce Nathan Petrelli, played by Adrian Pastar. After watching the episode, I asked Pastar if there had been any concerns similar to what I witnessed during the episode. He replied to the contrary and mentioned her openness to collaboration and even improvisation. It kind of is interesting that I'm here bringing you this report because Back in the days when I was a fan of the show, I cried when they killed off this character that I really liked. He was on the first season. His name is Leonard Roberts. You might know him from Drumline or uh, Buffy the Vampire. If you watch those movies, you definitely know the guy. Nowadays, he's mm, you don't see him a lot. And he's saying that during the set of Heroes, when he was part of that team, he was being mistreated, he faced racism, and he was actually eventually fired because of his white co-star she just didn't like him anymore and they had to choose and they chose the white lady. That's what he's saying. So I read the whole article that he wrote for Variety. What happened then affected him for 10 years. He's still not the same, he says, and this deeply impacted him because he lost the job. He lost the job over this and from what he tells us, he didn't do anything wrong. And actually 10 other cast members uh, corroborated and they said he was actually a really nice guy, um, that he didn't deserve and what he told um, this outlet was true. So uh, I have to mention Ali, she came out and she apologized and she said, so this guy went through a lot as a black man on set. He did not deserve the things that happened to him. As for his information, not only him, other 10 cast members, the people that were uh, there during that time said, nah, he, he's right, he's telling the truth. They also said that Ali Larter was not pleasant to work with. So yeah, I believe him, he was telling the truth. It's really sad now looking back. One of my favorite series is tainted. Like a black man was fired for absolutely nothing, no reason. And this lady went on and even did other series, other movies, we know her better than we know him. You might remember her from Obsessed with Beyonce and Idris Elba. So she became a big deal, kind of, I guess, like karma is a B, because she's not that big. I wouldn't call her an A star, but um, she definitely acted bratty and was not respectful uh, when they were filming. So that's what other people also said about her. So a lot of people are saying that about you. I mean, <laughs> okay, it doesn't make it 100% true if I don't see it, but it kind of tilts, you know, to the side of they are telling the truth about your character and you're shady. But one thing we can be sure of is this guy was wronged and he deserved better. <laughs>